Running became a huge part of my life when I was a senior in high school. It was after I had an incident with my own behavioral health. I really was considering suicide and um, I took it as a last resort. Running, in a sense, saved my life. We know that one in four of us are going to suffer or experience a serious behavioral health issue in our lives. This could be somebody in your family. This could be somebody that you're close to. If we wait any longer, we're going to lose more lives in this valley. Last year we lost 17. The year before we lost 16. We can't wait any longer. Olivia was very adventurous. She could climb up the climbing walls and hit the bell. She loved being outside, going hiking, and she loved animals so much. The change I noticed in Olivia and her personality was um, when she transitioned into sixth grade. She got some notes telling her to kill herself in her backpack in her locker. That was the start of it. As a family, it was so hard on us because the resources that we needed were not available to us here in this area. So as I'm sitting at the table in Washington, D.C. with all these high-level politicians, urging them to have a higher focus on behavioral health, mental health, uh, putting more funding behind it, as soon as I walk out of that door, I get a text that says um, Olivia has taken her own life, a 13-year-old girl here in our community. I just want people to know that I did try to help her in every single way that was possible for me. No parent should ever be in a, a position where they don't feel like they can provide the care and love they need to for their child. And without the resources in this community, without the providers, the infrastructure, and the system, there's going to be many more parents in that situation. I grew up here, and I know what it feels like to be a youth here. I'm here to share a little bit about my journey in hopes that at least one of you here listens to that and understands that it's okay to make mistakes, but also it's okay to ask for help. So Eagle Valley Behavioral Health is an initiative that grew out of 18 months of many entities, leaders, parents, nonprofits, all coming together with this goal to improve the behavioral health system within this community, within this valley. Imagine a community where mental health is viewed the same as any other illness. Imagine if there was no longer a need to suffer in silence. Imagine a system where my daughter Olivia could have asked for help and we could have afforded it. Imagine a day in this valley when we spend as much time, effort, and resources on our behavioral health as we do our physical health. I believe there's always hope, even in the darkest days. Hope and love will always shine the way. And these are words that I live by every single day. Vell Health and Eagle Valley Behavioral Health are leading this community collaborative to transform the way behavioral health care is delivered in our valley. We are going to make this happen. Join us. <laughs>